Right, the last race from me on the National Hunt, National Hunt card for day one is this one. Martin Leader will finish off the day. It's a two mile two handicap hurdle that started off with a six qualifier. Uh, the finals happen in week 13. One is Modine, Alex Cherry, two Trojan Bridge, Martin Needham. Three Scarva Bois, Darren French, Boy Ravine, Darren French, Gold Staple, Alex Cherry. Cool Kate, Stu Gray, Crystal Gaze, Obi Wan, and Aspirate, Obi Wan. So the first four qualify for the finals. Uh, it's quite a big day, payday for the lower graded horses, and away they go. And it's Ice Parade for everyone who leads from his, on his outside gold staple. Then comes uh, Darren Francis Scarborough Bois. Boravine just behind that. Out wide is the red colours and yellow cap of Trojan Bridge from Martin Leadham. Stu Gray's horse uh, just po uh, caught behind horses at the moment called, uh, called Kate. With, uh, on his outside is Alex Cherry's Modine. And up on the inside is Crystal Gate. Uh, f f Crystal Gaze for Obi-Wan. So it's Obi-Wan's Ice Parade who's about three lengths clear of Scarborough Bois for Darren French. The uh, Trojan Bridge is on the outside of Gold Staple, who's in between horses. And then comes um, the second Dan French horse, Boravine, um, out very wide, Modine and Crystal Gaze on the inside for Obi Wan. So the yellow colours of Obi Wan's um, Aspirate is clear of Trojan Bridge, who's about four wide for Martin Eden. He's on the outside of uh, Gold Staple with Cole Kate, who's moved past a few for Stubro, and that one's inside. They're followed by Darren French and Scarvo Bois. Boravine is on the inside, or mean between horses, because on the outside of Ravine we have Modine, and on the inside of that Crystal Gaze. The yellow colours with the orange epaulets on the sleeves for uh, Obi Wan or Sirius Chill. So, Sirius Chill, Obi Wan, however you want to call him, leads with Ice Parade. Four lengths clear of Call Kate in second for Stu Gray. Then comes Gold Staple for uh, Alex Cherry as they jump the next hurdle. A slow jump there for Trojan Bridge, who's been joined on either side by Boy Ravine and Scarborough Bois for the uh, two Darren French horses. Still going wild is Modine for Alex Cherry. And at the back of the field, a slow jump by Crystal Gaze reached for it and lost about uh, two lengths on the field. So they're coming down the straight for the first time. They have a one more circuit to go after this, and Asper Raid travels comfortably in the lead. So Asper Reed Braid as they pass the grandstand and the winning post and head off on their final circuit is clear by about three lengths from Call Kate in second for Stu Gray in those black colours. About two lengths back to the uh, orange colours of uh, Gold Stable. It was just orange tees and orange cap of Alex Cherry's Gold Stable. It has a uh, sort of Scottish flag um, body. Then comes Scarborough Bois and Bois Ravine, they're followed by Modine. Um, just behind Modine is Trojan Bridge, who's lost a lot of ground at Trojan Bridge, was up in second in a while back, and Crystal Gaze is the trailer for Obi Wan. At the back of the field is about 10 lengths first to last year as Aspirate continues to lead from Gold Staple in second. Corkate is on the inside of a Moves travelling Squavo Boy is trying to move closer. Boravine just behind that. Then the other three are in danger of getting out, uh, out of losing touch. Modine has dropped back with Trojan Bridges also, who was up in the vanguard early on, has dropped back and has been pushed along now. And Crystal Gaze is one out of his ground at the back of the field. Their stable mate Aspirate continues to lead from Cold Staple and that one's outside. They're followed by the two Darren French horses, Squavo Boy and Boravine. Corkate has been pushed along now, also lost a few places. Then Trojan Bridge, who's been pushed along to try and prove Modine. He's not going that well at this stage, and nor is Crystal Gaze at the back of the field. So Gold Staple seems to be going really strongly at the moment. Comes to join the long-time leader Aspirate, but Boravine has moved past both of them to hit the front. So Darren versus Boravine goes to the front from Gold Staple in second. Aspirate is starting to tire now as uh, Scarva Bois goes to join that one. Then comes Colgate. The back three, Modine, Trojan Bridge, and Crystal Gaze are trying to run on, but they have all got a lot of ground to make up on Boravine and Gold Staple. So it's Boravine on the outside of Gold Staple. They both jump it well. Gold Staple up the inside of Boravine. These two left to find it out with a foot and a half to go. It's Boravine. Gold Staple is starting to get closer. They, it's a head bopping duel. Yeah, it's, it's Gold Staple on the inside for Alex Jerry now. Picks it up from Boravine. Running on strongly is Scarfer Abra, but Gold Staple with half foot and left to go has got the upper hand. And Gold Staple is going to win the uh, Stars Hall handicap chase for Alex Jerry. Gold Staple wins the Stars Hall handicap hurdle for Alex Jerry. Scarfer Abra and Boravine. Trojan Bridge might have got four and the top four qualify for those finals. Well, Gold Staple wins for Alex Cherry, travelled well most of the way, was always up there handy and won strongly, finished strongly to win from Scarborough Bois in second for Darren French, that's the favourite in second. Boravine was third for uh, Darren French, Darren French second and third and back and forth the qualifier, um, Trojan Bridge qualifies for those finals for Martin Needham, Aspirade uh, ran out of it late for Obi-Wan. 
was back in Firth. <laughs>